Would you offer Cy Young Award winning pitcher for the Cleveland Indians, Shane Bieber, a long term contract? Because he came out publicly saying that he's open to a long term deal. Well, thank you for asking that question. I want to talk about offering pitchers long term deals, when to do it, why to do it, and how to do it. Shane Bieber is coming off a Cy Young Award winning year. Cy Young Award winning season. He is not yet eligible for arbitration. This is the dream for teams. Getting maximum performance from a pitcher at the minimum. It's literally lightning in a bottle. I bet Tim Lincecum may have won a Cy Young before he was arbitration eligible. I'm trying to think of other pitchers who did. It's not very common. So Shane Bieber is at the height of his ability, the height of his recognition coming off that Cy Young award winning year. He still has one season this year at close to the minimum. Then he's eligible for arbitration for three years, and then he becomes a free agent. So is this the time to approach Shane Bieber? Here's a little hint. When a player comes out and says, I'm open to a long-term deal with this team. I'd like to stay with this team. I've enjoyed it so much having been traded here seven days ago. I got traded during the offseason. I haven't played a game yet, but I love it here. I'm open to a long-term deal. Who of you in your jobs, whatever you do, is not open to a long-term deal? Boy, I really don't like my boss. I really don't like my commute. I don't really think that I'm growing enough in this job. Wait a minute. You'll offer me? three years of guaranteed money with natural raises that would make me one of the highest paid people in your company? Oh my God, I've got the best commute ever. Oh my God, I love you, man. I love you, the boss. God, I love what I do. It is very fulfilling. Most people will make the decision to take the guaranteed money when given an opportunity and will swallow hard if there are things about their job they don't like. For players, the calculus is always the following. Are they going to bet on themselves or are they going to take the guaranteed comfort of the money? We know like Ronald Acuna took the guaranteed comfort of the $100 million. He didn't want to bet on himself. We know as an example, Jose Fernandez was offered a long-term deal, didn't take it, wanted to bet on himself. Some players, when they bet on themselves, by definition, will do better, but the majority will not. They know it and we know it. Do you know when the worst time is to buy a plane ticket? Closest to the flight, right? Prices go up. Worst time to buy a ticket to a game is right when demand is at its highest. If you're willing to wait to the very end, sometimes prices go down, your price of entry goes down. Dealing with players, and this is very sensitive right now because of what Kevin Mathers said. So I wanna be very careful in how I say it. John Carlos Stanton, wants to be more than just a name on a piece of paper or a line item, but he recognizes business as business. But the fact is that every single boss you've ever had or ever will have does look at you as a line item. As much as our team was family and we were, as much as we like to pay our executives and sometimes overpay them, which we did, we always had to keep in mind that there was an individual named Jeffrey funding the losses for the team. And the only way to try to lessen your losses was to try to win games. And the only way to win games is to have as many players as possible making fewer dollars than they should. And to have people in sales making more money than they should because you're willing to pay them a higher commission than any other team because you want sales, you want tickets sold, you want corporate sponsorships sold, you want a naming rights deal, some of which we never got. So Shane Bieber right now is at his height in value. And the reason why he's open to a long-term deal is because when you are a pitcher, you are one pitch away from snapping your ulnar collateral ligament. You're one pitch away from having a shoulder impingement at torn labrum. You're one pitch away from changing the trajectory of your career earnings. 
For position players, it's much more rare to have career-ending injuries. It's much more rare to have injuries that linger to the point that your performance cannot be what people projected, including you. But for pitchers, it's far more common. For all players, going from minor league to major league, going from rookie of the year to a Hall of Famer, going from Cy Young Award winner to an all-star slash Hall of Fame pitcher, it's super difficult. I mentioned Tim Lincecum early in the show. Do you know Tim Lincecum? His career was cut short, funky delivery, injuries. He's not going to be in the Hall of Fame. When you talk about trajectory of a player, this is a guy who was the best of the best for a period of time when he was young, signed some long-term deals, didn't pan out for the Giants. Now, they won three World Series, so it did pan out, but I'm talking about the specific deals. The reason why Shane Bieber is not going to get a long-term contract offered by the Cleveland Indians right now is the Indians have a $38 million payroll. They've got tremendous financial flexibility. They just traded Lindor. They've got to figure out who they want to build around. And the way to build around players is to get them locked in, locked up to long-term deals that are team-friendly long-term deals. Because when you have a mid-market, mid to small payroll, you've got to have your best players locked up at a discount. Players today are less apt to take discounts. It's not never, but they're less apt to do it. Shane Bieber, unless he's willing to take a discount, is not going to be able to come to terms on a long-term deal with the Cleveland Indians. Period. So your question is, would I offer him a long-term deal? The answer is yes. We offered long-term deals to many of our players to lock up their arbitration years so you have cost certainty, so you're not subject to the whims of the possession area, era, 69, 68, 67. To lock up pre-arbitration and arbitration years is very helpful to a team because you get cost certainty. Cost certainty helps you make your budget. You're not subject to the possession arrow that takes place in arbitration. You're not subject to the whims of the market. You've got your players who you've developed, who you know, who you believe are going to be good. You lock them up. But if you're not going to get a discount, you do not do it. The Padres went the other way. They did not get a discount, and they did it, and I think it's going to cost them. The Indians are not the Padres. Chris Antonetti and Michael Chernoff are not A.J. Preller. The problem Shane Bieber has is his front office is too smart to lock him up on a long-term deal that would reflect his Cy Young Award-winning year. Shane, you're going to have to back up your Cy Young Award winning year, and I think you will because I think you're damn good. But would I offer him a deal at a discount? Yes. Would he sign it? No.